hello everyone welcome to another new video in this video i am going to present complete crude operation using dotnet 8.0 and for a database communication we are going to use uh, dapr which is uh, pretty faster and lightweight micro orm so end of this and end of this video you will uh, going to get this screen complete crude operation so if i going to create a new item uh, let's say nor norway and item is tbd create so item creation successful and we can delete this item using the alert notification for this alert notification we have your sweet alert yes so delete operation successful and we can able to check the details and if we are try to edit operation tbd uh, let's say new save so in the canada our branch description tbd new so this is the summary of this video uh, let's start with visual studio i'm just closing this screen and here is my visual studio 2020 so you have to make sure one things before creating this uh, project so just make your dotnet sdk 8.0 install your local pc so so using your powershell uh, .NET version so I have already installed 8.0 so you can see 8.0.101 available in my local PC. So let's start by creating new project and we are going to create uh, a project with MBC framework, MBC model view controller. So model view controller is most popular uh, monolithic architecture uh, project so most used uh, most of the cases for uh, tutorial purpose or demo project so this is pretty good for uh, start a new project using this uh, template so if i going to just give you simple overview model view controller model uh, uh, controller is the middleman controller is communicate with view and also the model so view is uh, request a controller and controller request the models after processing the data and return data to the view this is the summary of mbc and uh, let's say our project name is uh, .NET. i already defined crude with uh, dapr orm d8 and the location will be a test project uh, test project so next so already framework selected from the drop down automatically the latest version we can see and we have option to select the older version as well so no uh, we are going to create with .NET 8. So project is creating and both stepping. So initially we are going to create, uh, we are going to create a uh, demo project as uh, default project basically. So just uh, static things, nothing dynamic like DB operation, uh, others uh, things. So if we just build this project and uh, run this project for test purpose then we can able to get so our default project is ready you can run this project using play button or just uh, from the keyboard uh, just uh, type f5 so default uh, project is uh, running and hopefully we can uh, get able to see the default uh, just home screen welcome to the home privacy so this is another view and the default welcome screen is uh, just a home screen and so we have a ready project now i'm going to first uh, reinstall the dapr orm i already give you a simple overview what is dapr why, why if you ask me who why we are going to use this uh, dapr instead of entity framework core which is most popular so my personal experience working with several projects so dapr is uh, if you are going to create a small project and uh, requirement is pretty simple then and you you, you have a target to uh, data operation is pretty faster and loading millions of data without uh, without any time uh, constraint or barrier so then you can definitely select this wonderful uh, uh, micro rm so let's start uh, so i'm going to install uh, two uh, nuget package first and then configure db connection and create model uh, then 
gradually create the other things. So let's start with uh, like a database connection. I already have a database connection um, and install the SQL server. Uh, let me show my server using uh, uh, Microsoft Management Studio uh, 19. You can uh, able to connect your local server. SQL Server Management Studio 19 latest version. So we can able to see uh, our database and database is running uh, properly. And now I'm going to create uh, the database connection string. Then I'm going to create the model. So database connection string, I'll just, uh, I will explain the connection string no issue. So here is our connection string. I have two different connection strings. So first one is Windows authentication as you are already logging into the Windows uh, your local PC so there is a you already entered your username and password and second one is a login to SQL server using SQL server username and password so I already log in my SQL server username and password and into the SQL server you are going to get the how if you want to check the login details then you can go to the security folder and log in so you have a SA username and also the dev i'm going to use i already use the dev and here is the password trusted certificate true my multiple active result true so our connection string is ready uh using uh, for nuget package uh two way you can install the nuget package let me just create a helper folder so then we can keep note there helper and I'm going to create a new text file here at uh, new item text. Uh, notes. So I'm going to add the, the project notes here because uh, some install. Uh, because we are going to use some command and uh, i just copy command here and share with you here so that you can later use this command if required so first we are going to uh, just a three uh, nugget package i'm going to install in this project uh, so first one is uh, microsoft uh, SQL client for database connectivity. Second one is a Dapper extension for .NET Core, and third one is a Rager for runtime compiler. So, if you run the project while runtime compiler, if you run the project, if you change the your view, then it will automatically just save, and then it automatically you can change the change get able to get the changes into your browser as output. So let's start. I'm going to use terminal. You can use the tools and no get package package manager console as well. So using terminal, how you can install this package? So right click into the project and open in terminal. First one is no get package Microsoft SQL client. Enter. And second one is a dapper. So installation success, I'm going to you install the next by uh, adding the installation command on .NET add package, dapper um, extension dot .NET core and just for third one for as a project helper node package. So our required uh, packages are ready. Uh, Require packages are ready in this project. You can check the install packages like uh, uh, runtime compiler, SQL client. And first, I'm going to create the connectivity. Uh, sorry, before going to create the connectivity, let me just confirm the model. I'm going to create one model which is branch. 
So before creating branch, I will create the base entity for that uh, branch. Add new class, base entity. So base entity is common uh, column for this project. ID created it and updated it. So this is the common fields for this project and now I'm going to create the main model of this project and extend the base entity and new class uh, brands so extend base uh, entity and uh, so let's say public string name and public string description to field is good enough for this project and uh, so base entity we have ready base entity and the branch so our model is ready and uh, now i'm going to create a database connectivity uh, for this project so uh, our uh, database connection is string is app setting dot in json file and now we have to create a dapper connection is string mm, data in data folder so i'm going to create one class i dapper context and uh, interface uh, like uh, class uh, interface i dapper context and public interface i idb connection context so using the microsoft sql client I, it will return type idb connection string idb connection so let's implement the interface interface and add class class and uh, here you here we go, Dapper context. So now I'm going to implement IDP context and we have to implement this class now. Before implementing uh, this uh, class, uh, we need to I configuration, create the instance of I configuration to initiate the class. So con msql our string connection string name and using i configuration we are able to get the connection string name into the con string and now i'm going to create idb connection string uh, using uh, the lambda expression our connection uh, create connection method i'm returning sql connection with connection string so our connection string is ready using the instance of uh, dapper context we can able to get the connection string in uh, the repository for repository folder i'm going to create uh, now a generic repository so that we can use that repository for any class first i'm going to create i generic repository i will explain all the code no worries and close all tab repository i need to create new folder this is repository under this folder i will create first interface i generic repository at class i generic repository and uh, i'm going to uh, create uh, four method here create update delete get all five methods sorry so get all and uh, returning i enumerable get by id generic type we are going to pass here brands or it might be personal details any table name you can pass and add update we are just uh, providing the table name and also the entity as a parameter in for this method so our interface class is ready for generic repository now we have to implement this generic repository and uh, new class i have to remove the i generic so 
our class name is generic repository so in this class we are going to implement i interface uh, we are going to implement so i'm going to implement uh, this i generic repository interface here i generic repository so we have to pass the generic class where So uh, we just create and also you have to make sure the type T here that is class and uh, using the default constructor CTOR I'm going to initiate the connection string here uh, private uh, read only idea per context and we have to pass I per context into defaults constructor to inject our instant. So connection string is ready. Now we have to implement five method here. That's why it's uh, showing the error. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm just copying my existing code. I, and let me give you uh, the explanation one by one. So get all, get by, and this is very important. In our previous video, I created a per code operation with uh, not generic. Every class I have to create like branch repository, personal info repository. For, let's say uh, in the database, you have a 30 table, then you have to separately create 30 table. But in this uh, project, uh, just one class you can use for every uh, table name. So this is, uh, uh, or this is the uh, um, this feature we are going to get uh, achieve uh, using generic uh, repository pattern. So generic uh, is uh, one of the important uh, feature of C sharp programming language. So generic is uh, simply type safe. So you can uh, pass the type later after the operation. Then later you can uh, pass the type. So five method method we have to uh, implement here. Mm, so showing some error, just we have to use. Uh, not sure why it's showing this error. Syst uh, using system dot data, I think. Mm. Let me check the depper runtime. Sorry, depper not install here, and I have to install the depper. Depper. So in our initial video, we already make sure the required NuGet packages package installation, but somehow uh, depper not installed. Uh, .NET depper. Oh, sorry, it's suggesting to install 5.1.3. Okay. 5.1.3. No, hopefully this time... Uh, package installation is successful yes 5.1.2 and for the uh, depper alignment uh, 5.1.2 and uh, yes we have the depper extension here so if we're going back to the generic uh, uh, repository so uh, now all errors has been removed successfully query asynchronous so we have make make sure all the method asynchronous uh, <clears throat> so we have ready uh, five method for using the db operation most of the cases you uh, you can perform delete update 
and details and uh, get all and or get by and also delete update edit delete update add new sorry so anyways uh, as i as i explained earlier i will explain each method one by one so get by get all so this is the query uh, first i'm just using uh, dapper context so dapper context is returning the returning you the connection string using microsoft uh, sql client system dot data so sql client so if we going to this uh, connection string and going to implementation so we this method is returning sql connection with connection string so this method is returning idb uh, method return type is idb connection so using this uh, context uh, so using and uh, we have a query so we are passing the dynamic query table name is dynamic you can pass any table name here and order by is created date so so that you can get the latest information in the topper and query as asynchronous and passing the table uh, entity and the query so this is the get, get by get all and get by is almost same just you have to pass one parameter into the sql query so where is uh, id equals to at the rate id so this is your uh, where condition get by it's just sql query you just write into the your management studio for uh, getting the data same uh, let's uh, select select start from bra and ca's branch so uh, delete operation same we are passing the sql query and execute asynchronous so in the get by id uh, we have select single or default and by, by passing the entity and in the delete operation we just first make sure the dynamic uh, table query and just execute the queries as asynchronous process and add operation is pretty important update operation is pretty important you can you, you, we can see the bigger uh, method so first we just initiate the connection string and then we uh, get the entity type using the entity type of we get uh, for add operation get properties we have a properties list let's let's say some table can have a 10 fields some table can have the five fields for add operation you don't you have uh, if you pass the id then it will getting an error into uh dapper um, orm so that's why we filter not id and using the for each operation we just add using the at the rate property name and fellow so we make sure dynamic parameters here and if it is uh, id and make sure uh, get properties id id if it is null not, not null because id uh, we are considering the primary key and insert into table name string join dot properties select name so using lambda expression we just uh, pass the properties name and we have a fellow insert into table name and, the, and uh, we have a uh, fellows and the uh, field first is uh, first the table name and then is fellows and we are uh, executing here in so first we prepared the dynamic insert query and passing the insert query and dynamic parameters so using for its loaf we prepared the dynamic parameters and also here we in the lambda expression we prepared the insert into uh, column name so uh, this is very important so i make sure uh, generic uh, uh, add operation here and if we're going to uh, same almost update operation just uh, i remove this where condition because uh, in the uh, update operation you have to pass definitely pass the id value un unless it will uh, throw an exception <clears throat> so other things uh, remain the same for the add operation i just separated two method i we can perform in one method but for more understanding and make it more easier i just separate the update operation i i, I just create the update operation separately so hope you understand the com 
complete crude operation here and this is the generic crude operation so this is the main class you can pass any table now and uh, with just by making uh one field which is id uh, table uh, primary key and hopefully uh, you can get, understand the complete code and if you have any confusion queries in this uh, code then definitely you can comment and also feel free to communicate with me uh, our email address I, 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 from my channel so our uh, generic uh, crude operation generic repository is ready and connection string is ready now we can create our controller to communicate with database so i'm just uh, closing everything so if i going to create a controller let's say browns controller then using browns controller we can communicate our database easily so yeah I'm, let me create um, a new controller new mbc browns controller Branch controller. So using branch controller, we uh, we uh, uh, we can communicate with our database uh, with the help of generic repository, which we uh, have already created. So let me initiate the i generic repository instance and uh, the branch. So our instance is ready. Now we can perform a DB operation easily here. In the index, we are going to get all the branch list here. So you get all, just pass the table name. So before, if I'm going to run this project, we will get an exception. So we have to make sure uh, into the program.cs file instance name dependency injection just to make it neat and clear so uh, i will add here um, two things the first one is like uh, uh, runtime compilers for Razor so that if we, if we change into the UI then it is reflect into the browser and also we uh, I'm going to add the transient add transient for i generic repository So hopefully, if we build and debug this uh, controller, then without any errors, so instance will create without any issue. So let me just check our DB connection is success, and we're going to get a list here. I already created a database table, and uh, I, I will share the database table uh, uh, like SQL here so that you can create the database table manually. Because this is not code first project, you have to create the table manually uh here is our my database so if i select the brands uh, let's uh, so we have a, a list of brands here so if we going to debug this application hopefully we can see list of brands here run so as we uh, do not as we uh, don't have the view for browns controller so i'm just uh, going to type it manually browns br and cs browns slash index so that it can uh, call the index controller
oh sorry i have to make sure the idea bar contacts as well into the program.cs Oh, somehow it's showing error. So let me check one once again. Oh, sorry, <clears throat> the syntax error. So I just confirmed the uh, IDA per context uh, dependency injection here. So hopefully this time we are not going to any error now. So I'm just running the project again and hopefully we can debug and get the list of uh, brands and i'll just i have to type brands yes, yes, brand slash index sorry for the alert so index this could not be found. So sorry, uh, I have to create the uh, view as well into the view folder. I'm just going to create empty for empty view for the brands, empty index. Add new folder brands and add new view which is reserve empty view and index of c index index dot cs html at just hello world my purpose is get the data and make sure the database connection is established without any issue or error So build is success and uh, let me just run the project. Hopefully this time uh, without any further error, we can able to get the data in debugging mode. Yes, so just press F10, F10, result, see we can uh, see the total count is seven so if i expand the first two then we can able to get the dvd new 16 canada and if we go back to my the database then definitely we can have the list so database connection is still successful and we can able to get by and we can able to perform the gate by operation without any errors so now uh, our next uh, agenda is complete the uh, controller crude operation so uh, left is like details and create add edit and delete so just removing the debugging debugger point and sorry i just make things wrongly from details to before yes 
so as we already explained the index now details is same get by id just you will get the details uh, by passing the id parameter and create it will just uh, pop up the view and once you are going to click the button then it will perform this action later we will call the action create uh, action from the front end so we are passing uh, the default value created and updated time and passing the table name so this is the create operation and edit operation same so we are providing the id as well here is the id so that edit operation we are uh, we don't have any errors because if if you somehow uh, do not pass the id then definitely into the dapper warm you will going going to get an error so and uh, you have to pass the right table name and delete operation get by so uh, delete operation first we are pulling the data and finally confirm the delete here so our controller is ready now our final operation create the view so that we can run the project and in the, into the browser we can able to get the uh, branch details so i'm closing everything and first i'm going to create the menu so that by clicking the menu we can route to the branch uh, view so into the view uh, share layout and we have to create the branch of so i'm just renaming um, the privacy controller privacy view to branch pr and cs and branch and index branch and also for the main action button is make sure the branch crude with dapper orm dot net eight or object relational mapper using dot net 8.0 so our menu is ready now we have to make sure the view sorry i'm going to copy uh, i will explain all the things because it will if i are going to create manually one by one then will some might have some issue and error then fix it will take uh, and uh, additional time and video will be too much longer i just uh, i just make sure the video is uh, standard time not the additional time video is ending though with standard time not the additional time not in the additional time so brands into the brow view brands yes <clears throat> so if i open the index so using uh, we have a model here brands using uh, for each we just uh, iter iterating the all the fields and showing the data here and edit operation it, it is the auto generated code using the visual studio using the uh, model you can create uh, this code uh, easily so and the details and the credit created so we have used just to reserve reserve view for faster uh, code operation and now uh, i um, i have to explain uh, what additional javascript library used in this project sweet alert and the front awesome so i already add reference here and the brown screwed uh, js will perform one a simple uh, delete operation using javascript with the sweet alert confirmation so ww wrote js let me create the branch folder add new folder which is brands under this under that folder branch screwed and new item Brands code.js using brands code.js we just make sure one method uh, which is delete operation delete brands basically so this is the sweet alert code just uh, give the confirmation are you sure are you want to delete this item if yes the result has below then it will call the ajax and uh, call our 
delete confirmation method into the controller so where is our controller you have to go to the controller here is our controller branch controller and the delete, delete confirmation it will <coughs> come here so if delete success then uh, load operation will be sorry for the call so delete operation uh, using this method uh, into the index we're going to call this method and by passing the parameter id so finally it will confirm the delete operation so our delete operation is okay and we have ready uh, view create delete details edit and index index is pretty important and uh, if we just run the project then we are going to get a uh, custom table with uh, this uh, like uh, item turn table custom class so let me confirm this class as well into the css site folder so that we can go going to get a beautiful table <coughs> so just uh, one in things uh, left for which is uh, custom table css class i just created a uh, custom class here and i already add the reference into the index uh, table so hopefully uh, we have done uh, in this project uh, all the left item task so uh, in the middle we have confirmed the controller and data communication and finally end of this video uh, before closing we just make sure uh, front in uh, front-end operation and front-end view uh, five different view and also javascript uh, one javascript method so if we run the project now by rebuilding project and <coughs> run the project welcome and we have a branch new menu and if i click the branch new menu uh, then uh, as expected we are going to get the list of brands already created so this is the global brands list just for our tutorial project so we have a global brands brands list here we can create new brands delete so let's say if i click the delete button then it might be some errors uh, why it is not showing the delete operation sweet alert not found so i did not add the reference that's why it's showing an error let me just confirm the library so in the js folder yeah sorry into the leaf folder i have to add the sweet alert library i, I already have this library in my local let me just copy the library and you can download from the sweet alert website as well notice i will add the library all the de dependency into the project so that you can easily um, just for clone from the github and run the project without any issue sweet alert 2 in the left folder control paste so in the visual studio you can copy folder and paste uh smoothly so sweet alert i have uh, added the reference and into the index folder we already have the sweet alert reference sweet alert min.css and sweet alert to min.css and uh, build run And if we click the browns controller and uh, hopefully this time we don't have any errors yes browns has been deleted successfully okay so delete operation success and uh, if we're going to check the click the details then uk tbd and the created data updated back to the list so delete uh, also success now if i going to check the create operation if the database 
insert operation is success using the taper uh, micro rm also we have had two additional feature in this project which is a uh, generic code operation generic uh, all uh, db operation is generic and also the asynchronous anyway so for two things we already check which is uh, delete and details and let me just confirm the create operation uh, let's say new uh, branch is norway and the description is tbd create so norway has been created successfully and the created date and updated date we can see and also we can create the norway tbd uh, test save so we can see tbd test and the updated time has been changed uh, yes updated times uh, has been changed also we can delete this operation uh, yes so uh, overall summary here uh, now before wrapping uh, closing or wrapping a wrap up or closing this project uh, i will summarize what we have done in this project one by one so here is our project uh, using visual studio 2022 first we create the project then we installed required packages so um, uh, we are uh, we finalize the project and complete the crude operation and before uh, closing this crude operation let me summarize the entire project what we have done in this project so this is the dotnet 8 uh, complete crude operation using micro orm depper why depper i already uh, give you the little bit idea or little bit uh, description here so depper is lightweight faster and for a small project definitely you can select the depper and if you have a bigger project then i will suggest definitely select entity framework core so i already created using entity framework code a couple of projected almost 18 project and some bigger project so also i have a, a small project using dapper so first we have installed required packages into the sql into the uh, into this project and uh, before um, before uh, install the required packages what we make sure so we'll uh, we just create the project using visual studio 2020 then we create uh, install the required package we just install uh, main two things uh, main two packages uh, dapper extension and the sql client for database connectivity and we can see that we have used dotnet sdk 8.0 so once we have done the required installation then we make sure the database connection is string uh, from the app setting.json file using uh, in the app setting.json file i just pass two connection string first one is uh, Windows authentication, second one is SQL Server authentication. You can use any one into the database, into the data folder. We have created uh, interface IDEPR context using this context with just one method and using the Lambda expression, we just return SQL connection. And uh, here's the connection string using I configuration, uh, well, you can always get the connection string name. So, and uh, middle of the project we explain repository pattern so we just create one single repository for uh, five different operation so in, in the previous video we just uh, create every uh, table uh, for every for each table for separate uh, repository but using this generic repository you can able to perform any good operation for any table without creating separate repository so this is important so in the generic repository implementation, we just uh, implement our interface using a Dapper context for connectivity connection string and passing the dynamic SQL query. So we just pass the table name as a parameter and get by and get all is pretty simple. But the add operation, we just pass the property. Here is our uh, table name and it uh, might be 10 field or 20 field using for using forest low. We just arrange the uh, table field name uh, and here is we uh, uh, we prepared the dynamic uh, SQL query uh, using the property with the Lambda expression by passing the name and finally we execute the insert query with dynamic parameters. So uh, this is uh, this method is pretty important. So if you guys any question and if you have any confusion, always feel free to knock me and ask me. I will explain more. 
by trying my best and uh, update operation almost similar just one important uh, uh, difference is uh, insert operation we don't have to pass the id uh, because if we pass the id then we'll definitely get an error but in the update operation we, we you definitely have to pass the id value unless it will uh, throw an exception because without the value id you cannot update the table field because id is a primary key so generic operation is uh, generic uh, crude operation class is done and finally we created the branch controller which is pretty simple i hope you understand it pretty easily we just create instance generic repository here using this instance we just perform all operation index get all get by details create operation just uh, passing the uh, model from the view view model and uh, we just uh, passing the uh, add repository here so finally using our controller we we can able to get communicate with the database uh, by uh, debugging the project in the middle of the video so once we have uh, complete uh, the controller operation close all tab then we have add some library uh, javascript library into the um, view folder we just prepared our view and in index.chtml cs html this is the razor page we just add a oh, javascript library suite alert and also the font awesome for icon purpose and using the brown screwed operation using this javascript library we just have uh, gone from the uh, pop up pop up before delete operation so this is overall summary hope you guys uh, understand the full journey of this project so main purpose of this project use the uh, debber orm and make it a uh, more simpler simpler i try to uh, get the debber uh, operation into the web google uh, searching the web but most of the cases I mean, uh, all the people is uh, create debber code operation manually by passing the manual uh, table operation but i i try to make it simpler and make it more dynamic so you can use for a uh, next project purpose small project basically or you can use uh, depart for a small project without any hesitation so before closing uh, this uh, video i would like to request please sub please subscribe and grow our channel uh, so uh if you have any further question or queries uh, please share the uh, share your uh, feedback in the comment section i will share enter project into the github repository and share the by github link into the comment section so that you can uh, easily download the project so uh, see you in the next video hopefully you guys understand and uh, love this video and try to learn new things uh, with the depart crude operation with dotnet sdk 8.0 see you in the next video bye bye